No, I, I ran for governor in 1982. Oh. And the reason I ran for governor was there was a, uh, an organization started in Rhode Island by a man named Richard Walton, a native Rhode Islander who had come back from New York City. And as most of us Rhode Islanders, we come back. Um, and he had started something called the Citizens Party, which was a, uh, a very socialistic kind of party. And Barry Commoner had run as president in 1980 under that. Barry Commoner was uh, an environmentalist. And so it embraced all of the causes that, you know, the movements of the 70s and the 60s were part of, all of that. And I had been fascinated by all of that. And um, because I was active in those two organizations, I was, and I also at that point had started a real estate business. And I was free of having to work for somebody who might not have liked my politics. Um, I was recruited to be the candidate for governor that year. And the Citizens Party, because the governor at the time was a Democrat who was very, very popular, his name was Garrahy, he wouldn't lose to the Republican. And in fact, uh, so they didn't worry about a third party candidate as they might have otherwise. So we had an incredible run. I was able to debate both governor candidate. I was able to, uh, I was the bus candidate. I would, um, I, I was environmental, so I didn't want to get around by an automobile. I used public transportation to get all over Rhode Island, which isn't very far to get over. <laughs> and I picked up some of the best recruits for our, our, uh, our party through that. We had a wonderful run. I was on television constantly. My husband was interviewed as the spouse of, of uh, a governor's candidate. Um, I was able to expose people to ideas that were really genuinely original to, to Rhode Island, um, for Rhode Island, because we are so small. We could, we could be small but beautiful. We could have farmers markets, which there were none. We could have maybe uh, raised, and this is happening now, uh, farm fish. Um, we could do small economic viable programs that would enable us to be more self-sufficient, not have to travel far. Uh, I, I knew about appropriate technology. Uh, my sign on the bus was alternative energy for Rhode Island with my picture on it. I was the alternative energy. <laughs> I, had, I was very energetic. I learned how to speak publicly. I was not afraid. And uh, you know, many people would come up to me and say, I would vote for you except you're pro-choice, because Rhode Island is a very Catholic state. And uh, I didn't do badly, but um, I, I was very proud of, of what we were able to accomplish. And I was not the star by any matter of means. Uh, we had many people working on this campaign.